Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back for another video of Dylos Homemaker Tips. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to sanitize your home completely. Now, due to sicknesses and the cold weather, everything can get just meshed up together and just get nasty, but you wanna play it safe because we do go outside, our kids do go to school. You always wanna stay safe by disinfecting anything that's busy and you touch often during the day. So, without further ado, if you are new here, my name is Dyla. I do a lot of homemaking tips, cleaning tips on certain areas, and cheap cleaning tips. If you like these type of videos, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Without further ado, let's get started. So I'm just going to show you the items that I'm going to use today. You want to use different items for different areas just to make your life a lot easier. I'm going to be using disinfectant spray, a disinfectant cleaner. This I'm going to be using for the bathroom and my railings in the house. Then I have Pine Soil Multi-Surface Cleaner. I like to use this around my furniture and it really makes it smell amazing. And then finally, I'm using the Fabuloso Antibacterial Multi-Purpose Cleaner. This is going to be for my floors. I really don't like using bleach because bleach is so harsh on your airways and I try to avoid that because it can get pretty hard to breathe for some people because it's not bleach it's not going to be super harsh on your skin but I would recommend using gloves you want to start off by putting your gloves on as I mentioned it is kind of harsh on your hands because I'm going to be using super hot water and then you just want to fill up your container you can use a bucket. I like to use these containers. They're pretty cheap. I got them from Dollar Tree. So just fill it up with hot water. I also got this from Dollar Tree. They are the Brillo rags. They're disposable. You can reuse them, but it doesn't really last long. Maybe, you know, two to three uses. I usually use them and then one more time, I'll use them to clean my bathroom and then chuck it. I filled up my water and I'm gonna start off with disinfecting my kitchen. And I'm going to put a little bit of my Lysol in here. And I'm also going to put some alcohol in here. Better be safe than sorry. Water is nice and hot. Mix up your solution. The first thing you wanna clean off in the kitchen are the knobs of any cabinet because we're constantly using them. So, I'm just gonna wipe it down. I'm gonna wipe down the bottoms as well. Then you wanna get onto your microwave handles and your stove knobs as well. So any given area that you may have touched when you were sick, wipe it off. I just want to state the fact that disinfecting is completely different than cleaning. Now cleaning is cleaning. Disinfecting is actually wiping down the very busy traffic -y areas with a solution that is specific to cleaning bacteria and germs. Now you just want to continue with all the knobs After that, you want to get on to disinfecting your You just want to get on to your kitchen counters. You want to take a paper towel, use your Lysol disinfectant cleaner, and get onto the garbage pail. You want to let it sit for 10 minutes and then come back to it. Then you want to get onto your chairs and your tabletop as well.
You want to wipe down the objects that are on any furniture. Be assured, if you were sick and you were coughing, all those germs flew all over the place. So you definitely want to make sure to wipe off everything. All right, garbage pail has been 10 minutes. I'm just going to wet this paper towel with my solution and wipe everything off. Now I'm just gonna wipe off as if you're dusting all your furniture. Make sure you wipe off any kind of ledge in the house and also all your light switches. Now, I'm only showing you partially, but please make sure you do your whole house. Now I'm gonna go on to using this. I like to use this on my doorknobs and my walkway where my stairs are and all of that good stuff. So with this, you need to put on and leave on for 10 minutes and then you just wipe off with a wet rag. So that's what I'm going to do now. While that disinfectant cleaner is waiting, now I'm just going to be using my disinfectant spray. This is going to be used on my couch, throw pillows, and any other linen that I really can't wipe off or throw in the washing machine. You also can use this on your curtains, which is what I'm going to do as well. As I mentioned, I use this for anywhere that I cannot throw in the washing machine or really wipe down. Just wipe off your door. After you've disinfected everything that is above floor level, now you're gonna get on to your floors. And as I said, this is not cleaning, it is just disinfecting. So I'm going to be using my O Cedar mop. There's a little bit of water here, and I'm going to put a fairly liberal amount of Fabuloso in here, and I'm just going to start wiping and disinfecting my floors. Make sure you do your whole house, including your stairs. You're going to your bathroom, but with your bathroom, you are deep cleaning it. I will not be showing that in this video, but make sure you deep clean your bathroom because the bathroom is very bacterial. Even on a healthy day, it's just bacterial. So. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please come back for my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like, and I will see you next time. Bye.